What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If y'all are new, welcome to the channel. It's Jeremiah to fly and I'm back once again with another video. In today's video, as y'all see by the thumbnail and the title, I'm gonna put my boys on game and some girls. The girls can follow this too, but this is mainly for the guys. A lot of y'all been in my DMs and my comment sections and people who know me in real life, y'all been coming up to me and saying, oh bro, Jeremiah, your hair grows so fast. What do you put in it? How do you get it to grow so fast? And this, that, and the third. So today I'm gonna put y'all on game. I'm gonna give y'all my tips and tricks. How to grow your hair faster, longer, thicker, whatever you want. If y'all don't know, I used to have dreadlocks and I cut them off almost a year ago. This was me then. This was me right when I cut them off. I cut them off June 3rd of last year. I'm not gonna waste any more time. I've been doing way too much talking. I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that. Share the video as well if y'all rock with this. If y'all rock with me, if you think your friends will rock with me, share the video. Without further ado, let's just dive right into it, roll the intro. Nobody, 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 nobody. nobody. When I tell y'all it is only it's up from here, it is only Whoa. up. I'm at the base in New York, she want me by the yard. I tell her little bit hit the door, selling her all of my toys. I'm bothered, but I need some more. Remember a nigga was poor, never will got both my doors. First tip I'll give y'all. Stop washing your hair so damn much. The reason y'all's hair is growing quote unquote slow is because y'all wash it too damn often. Now I'm not trying to make it seem like you had to be dirty or you shouldn't wash your hair at all. Just don't wash your hair as much as you normally do because shampoo dries the hell out of your hair. So using it way too often without moisturizer, without any type of oil or things like that, your hair consists of natural oils that is essential for it to grow. So if you're constantly, constantly, constantly washing it, constantly shampooing it, this, that, and the third, you're just stripping your hair of those oils that it needs. So if you do wash your hair that often, use oils. What I recommend, this is what I use. I use hair food, which is basically, come on, focus. Hair food, which is basically like argan oil. I got this from um, my local beauty supply. It's probably cost me like six dollars. Probably a little less than that. I don't remember the exact price. Either that, or you can just get you some coconut oil. Just get you some coconut oil. Um, personally, I don't really use coconut oil for my hair. I actually use this. This is really good for oil pulling for your teeth, but that can be another video. If y'all want that, just let me know. That's that's basically tip number one. Stop washing your hair every day. Number two, if your hair is long enough to put in protective styles, put your hair in protective styles so you can stop playing in your damn hair. Simple. If you constantly feel the need to touch your hair, and your hair is at the length where you can put it in some type of style, whether it be twists, braids, cornrows, whatever the case is, put them in that style so that you're not constantly putting your hands in your hair and breaking it off. Protective styles are very, very essential to hair growth. I get protective styles every once in a while, leave them in for three weeks to a month, take them out, let my hair breathe for a little bit, wash it, get another protective style. And this leads into tip number three. Tip number three, before you get your protective styles, mainly I'm talking about braids and cornrows and things of that nature, blow dry your hair. That's the, that's, the, that's the real trick that really caused me to see growth. Blow dry your hair, but but before you blow dry it, always make sure to use heat protectant. Because if you, if you just blow dry your hair without any type of heat protectant, you're prone to heat damage, split ends, and things like that, and that's something that you don't want. So what I recommend, go out and get an actual heat protectant. If you don't have a heat protectant, and money's kind of tight, and you don't want to get a heat protectant, and you don't want to spend any money on, it, on a heat protectant, Coconut oil serves as an amazing heat protector. I use this um, every time after I wash my hair and before I blow dry it, coconut oil does the trick. Sometimes I don't like putting this in my hair because coconut oil is very bad for my hair type. That gets me into tip number four. Tip number four is very, it's very important for you to know, especially as a man, as, a, as men, we don't really pay attention to this, but it's important that you know your hair type. Once you know your hair type, you know what products are good for your hair and what products are not good for your hair. What you should be doing to it, what you shouldn't be doing to it. It's very, I wanna say it's a number one necessity, but if you wanna see progress in your hair growth, you gotta know your hair type. I have 4B to 4C hair. It's like a mix in between the two. So there are certain curling creams that I can't use because it's very flaky. Plus, 
and on top of knowing your hair type, you also have to know your hair porosity. Hair porosity is how long it takes your hair to absorb moisture or how much moisture your hair can hold in. I have very low porosity hair, which means it takes my hair much longer to absorb water or any type of moisture. So I have to get certain products to combat that. In order to do that, to uh, test what your poros hair porosity is, what I would do is the water test. The water test is basically, you just take a strip of hair, just take one strand of hair, put it in like a glass of water or something. If it floats, you have high porosity hair. If it sinks, you have low porosity hair. Or it's the other way around, I don't really remember, but I just know that I have low porosity hair. My last and final tip is be patient. Have patience. Do not rush your hair growth. Please don't rush your hair growth. The more you try to rush it, the worse the process is going to get. It's like it's like for anything you want in life. Don't rush the process. If you rush the if you rush the process, you're going to make it worse. Hands down. Do everything that you need to do. Have a set routine and you'll be good. Just let everything happen naturally. I've been growing my hair since I cut my locks off for the past 11 months. No trims. I do need a fade though. I do need a haircut and don't don't get on me, bro. I just took my hair out of braids, so this is a kind of a not really a fresh braid out, probably like a week old. And it's been helping me out. So um yeah, that's really all I got for you guys today. Let me know if in the comments that these helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that. Share the video as well if my tips helps you out and you want to share with a friend. And if you rock with me, if you think your friends are rocking me, share the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank y'all for 600 subscribers. We're on the road to 1K. I will see you guys in the next video. All of you niggas, just hype. Bust out Rolly Avalanche. Yeah, my old bitch average. This my first time rapping it. I might go retarded shit. Bentley Coop, I'm dashing it. Standing my money, I'm tall as shit. Told them, don't you doubt the kid. Told them, don't you doubt the kid. I run up 30 on 30 on 30. When I'm in the streets, I stay too sturdy.